of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees, Ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. In the high country, the first rays of sunlight that fill the dawn bring the sweetest part of the day. The air is crisp. The mountain creatures rise to begin another day, or scurry for their burrows and hollow trees to rest after a night spent in search of food. When man came to the high country, dawn brought tales of a horse, swift and silver, and handsome and proud as any they had seen, merging with the morning mist, appearing and disappearing. Some said he was real, the son of the mighty Yaraman, once the great king of the Cascade Brumbies. Some said he was a ghost. But the animals and birds of the bush know Thara is real. Know that one day he too will be king of the wild horses that roam the Cascade Ranges. Thara, who is already the finest, fastest colt, knows every bit of the high country. As leader of a small gang of young Brumbies, he is still young and inexperienced, but is fast learning the ways of his world. You two, we've got to get back to the herd. Oh, do we have to? Please, Bin Bin, this is great fun. Back to the bank now. Hey, this isn't a game, you two. The river's flowing very fast. <laughs> Bin Bin, I can't touch the bottom. Oh, no. Don't panic. Just swim towards me, across the current. Don't try to go against it. It's too hard! Just swim close to me. As hard and as strong as you can. That's it. That's it. I can't keep up!
you, stranger. I'm afraid this foolish young foal would have been swept to his death if you hadn't come along. He seems to have lost his manners as well as his tongue. Don't worry about it. I hope he's learnt his lesson. By the way, I'm Boon Boon. I'm sure my father, the noble Brogel, would also want me to thank you for your bravery. I doubt that, Boon Boon. You see, my name's Thara. So you're Thara? I've heard a lot about you. Just the mention of your name and my father goes into a rage. My father was the brave Yarra man. He lost his kingdom to your father and maybe he's frightened that one day I'll be able to win it back. Then I'll be king of the Cascade Brumbies. The Karawan, my father's spy. It is not safe for us to be seen together, nor for you to be so close to my father's herd. It's sad that a bird with such a beautiful call can be so full of hate and spite. The other birds won't have anything to do with him. Watch out for him. Now, for all our sakes, I'd better get all my charges back to the herd. from nowhere. Farah? Wow! That is just so strong. I was in trouble. <laughs> okay, you lot, back to the herd. Boon Boon? Was it really Farah who saved him? Enough chatter. I think it might be best if we didn't mention our adventures or the brave stranger, okay? Oh. Now, come on. Watching you, Brolga. And I'm learning. One day I'll be ready for you. What's going on, Boom Boom? Those foals are very flighty. Um, well, they're just excited by their expedition. Well, tell them to grow up. Great and powerful, Brolga. I bring you... Enough flattery, Karawong. I don't like you. Just tell me your news. But my... Dear, Enough! Thara's watching you from the snow gums on the far ridge. Oh, uh... I am the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. Be gone or face my fury. I am the Brolger, powerful and brave. And I am the son of Yaraman. And one day I will win back his kingdom. Oh, Brother Storm, how did you find me? Wombat saw you near Dead Horse Hut. And Benny said you were heading south along the Krakenback River. Then some swamp wallabies pointed me up here. The wind did the rest. You're mad to be this close to the Brolga. He won't hesitate to harm you. If I give him the chance, but I won't till I'm ready. Oh, let's get out of here. the matter? Three men on horseback. And they're not too far in front of us. Where's the rest of our gang? At our favourite grazing spot. Well, that's where these tracks are heading. Wait, someone's coming. Well, quick, we can hide behind the boulders. Oh, don't worry, it's only a kangaroo. 
It might be Benny. Lara. Storm. Oh, Benny. You found the tracks, then? <laughs> yep, I've seen the men. They separated near Lyrebird Spur and found out. They have their lassoes and their horses look strong and fast. A hunt? Looks like it. Can you keep up with us, Benny? Through the heath, I can move as fast as you. In fact, I might even beat you. Ready? Go! <laughs> Are you sure there were only three colts? Positive. But it's OK. Arrow's with them. Arrow? That's a worry. circle around the men to get to the gang before them. I'll come with you. No, no, I'll move quicker and quieter by myself. You and Benny head up onto the ram's head. It's too rough for the men's horses. I'll send the colts up to you. Good idea. This time, I bet I beat you, Benny. Oh, yeah? See ya. <laughs> Going off again, eh, Thara? It's a waste of time. I'm the oldest, so I'm the leader. Now, the best way to handle the danger is to make... What danger? I don't see any danger. I don't believe what he says. He's making it up, so you'll think he's... <laughs> Scared of a whipbird, Thara. That's no whipbird. It's a signal from the men. They're about to attack. Rubbish. What should we do, Thara? Follow me up onto the ram's head. It's rocky and difficult going. They'll lose interest when their horses go lame. Stupid idea. There's no cover. Best bet is to follow the river. Gallop for all you're worth. Their horses would tire easily. But don't worry. There yeah! are no... Men! Yeah! Oh no, what are we going to do? Quick, follow me. Yeah! Arrow, which way? Oh. Way. Follow the chestnuts. They'll be easy to catch. <laughs> yeah! We've got him now. Yeah! Rocky! Womera, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Keep up! We're tired, Aaron. Wait for us! What? And get captured? Can you see them? We lost them, among the snow gums. They must be on the river flats by now. If the men haven't caught them... Oh, Arrow never listens. Looks like we've lost the chestnut, but these two are prize enough. Mopoke, Mopoke, what a joke! All alone, on oh. your own, waiting for Thara to rescue you, are you, Arrow? I don't ever want to hear that name again. Arrow, Arrow, swift of flight, but not tonight. Be quiet, Mopoke! 
arrow, arrow, as day ends, he loses friends. It was Thaura's fault my friends got captured. He led them into our grazing grounds. There's a story that's not true. Thaura came to rescue you. Thaura is getting too big for his boots. I'm older and stronger than he is. He should do what I tell him. He'll be sorry when I see him. Arrow, arrow, full of boast. Stupider than most. <laughs> We're being followed. What is it? It could be anything, but whatever it is, it's pretty noisy. We'd better split up. Benny, can you lead Boomerang back down? Storm and I'll investigate. Thanks for saving me, Thara. You're welcome. Now just get out of here as quick as you can. Come on, Storm. Out of the way. Huh? Wombat coming through. Not till you tell me where Thaura is. I've got no idea. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I like Thaura. I don't like you. Oh. Now, out of my way, chestnut. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. So much. I might have known. Arrow! Where are the cults you led to freedom? Oh no. Thaura. I'll teach him to come near my herd again. He might have outsmarted the men, but he won't get away from me. Master! Master! Uh, it's Thaura, sire. This time I'll get you, Thaura. Another the horse. The Brolga. Let's get going. I'm not ready to risk a fight yet. <laughs> now I've got them scared. Over to the right here, sire! Just past those rocks! Here they are, sire! They're climbing down the other side! This is great. Arrow gets those poor cults captured and we get chased. They're getting away, sire! They're heading towards the ravine! <laughs> We're heading for the ravine. It's okay. Just follow me. It'll be easy. Okay, Storm. Just follow me. Oh, you're crazy. Easy. Oh, yeah. Quick, into the trees. Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> the Brolga! Oh, no! Uh, it's that stupid arrow. How can Thaura have disappeared? Where's that blasted Karawong when I need him? Never mind. If I can't find Thaura, I'll teach Arrow a lesson instead. Thaura can wait till another day. Uh... But mighty Broga, stop! You've got the wrong horse! I'm after Thaura too! You're weak, Arrow. Leading two friends to their capture. Ah, stop cringing. Stand and fight like a stallion. Uh... Uh... Oh! Tell your leader, Thaura. He's not my leader. How dare you answer me back? I'm the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. Tell your leader his day will come. 
Now be gone before I lose my patience. You're pathetic. Pathetic arrow. A disgrace to the Brumbies. Look at you. Get out of my sight. And think yourself lucky to have survived an encounter with the most powerful horse in the high country. Farah, come on. We've got to put as much distance between us and the Brogger as possible. You'll tempt fate once too often, Farah. Okay, I'm going. Oh, sorry. Oh, really? No consideration. Very clever, Thara. What? Your escape. Very daring. That was quite a leap. Thank you. You're learning fast, Thara. Your mother taught you well. Oh, with more than a little help from you, Benny. Yes, and me. But don't get too cocky. There's still a great deal to learn. No, don't worry, Benny. I can look after myself. I know. That's what worries me. Now tell me, what were you so deep in thought about when I arrived? Just wondering about my two friends who were captured. Worrying about how they must be feeling. Caring's important. You've the makings of a good leader, Thara. Just keep away from the Brolga so you can get to be one. Sure, Benny. It would not be the last time that Thara had to escape the anger of the Brolga, nor the last time his speed and cunning would save him. As for Arrow, his humiliation by the Brolga only made him more angry and more jealous of Thara. And the capture of his friends by the men meant there was more trouble ahead. of spring had brought with it the first real sign of danger to the high country, the first Brumby hunt. Charlie attempted to warn the Brumbies, but it was Arrow's timely re-arrival to the high country that accidentally saved the day. After that initial excitement, things had settled down. It was a time of growth and the renewing of life. And Charlie's experience had brought about a deeper understanding between himself and his father. Fine. 
fine day for a stroll, Mew. Oh, most absolutely and categorically, eh? Very fine indeed. Oh! Oh! Hmm, only room for one at a time, Mew. Oh, ladies first, eh? After you. Thanks, Mew. You're a real gentleman, as always. Wombat coming through. Out of the way. Uh-oh! Come on, you two scatterbrains. Back up. Back up. Emus can't walk backwards. Yep! You'll have to back up, Wombat. Are you kidding? Hands up anyone who's ever seen a Wombat walking backwards. Hands up? But emus don't have hands, Wombat. We just have legs. Oh, long legs for running very fast. We're the fastest. <laughs> Oh, all right then. Legs up, anyone who's seen a wombat walking backwards. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're right. They are fast. Hey! Whoa! Oh. What do you two think you're doing? Not trying flying again, are you? <laughs> Why? That looks like... It does, doesn't it? But I don't see how. Oh, nor do I, but it couldn't be. Anyone else? But it couldn't be, could it? Very brave Arrow, who went down south and hasn't been seen for a long time and... And shouldn't be here by rights because he's supposed to be down south, but isn't. The same. Oh, Arrow, brave Arrow. Oh, welcome, brave Arrow. Yes, it's good to be back. So many of my friends have been so kind in their welcome and so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. <clears throat> so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. Oh, yes. I indubitably. Tell us of your adventures. Oh, tell us of your great deeds. We're, We're most, most anxious, anxious to, to know. know. Aren't we, Mew? Oh, we certainly are, eh? Oh, well, where to begin? I think it's best if I tell you about the time I saved a beautiful young filly from this cruel, mean stallion. I wonder if he's telling them the same stories he told us. I doubt it. The stories seem to change and get grander with each telling. <laughs> and the truth drifts further away. Let him have his moment, you two. We may never know the truth of what really happened, but Arrow does. Let him sort it out for himself. I don't think things went well for him down south. Nor do I. But it's up to Arrow to tell us when he's ready. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but it's uh, nice to have him back. It is. And nice to see he hasn't changed. Nice? Well... Maybe it would be nicer if he changed a bit. I'm inclined to agree with Benny. All right, you two. I'm convinced. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Echidna, you moth-eating excuse for a pincushion? Oh, you should have seen me. Oh! <laughs> Wombat, you've been kicking up even more fuss than Arrow did when he took off to who knows where. <clears throat> Arrow? Just so happens that we Wombats are much more sensitive souls than you hard-hided Brumbies. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> At least you're doing better than the emus. I'd better see if I can help. <laughs> Stop running, you've nothing to gain. That's no way to stop the pain. Oh, help! It hurts, it hurts! E! Oh, get him out! Ah! Oh! Ouch! Oh. 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 
There we are. Nothing to it. Echidnas are normally such gentle things, but he's caused so many painful stings. <laughs> That's the way Mighty Brolga breathe the fresh air. Stretch those mighty limbs. Show everyone you're as fast as you ever were. Karawong, uh, go ahead and find out what's happened to Arrow. That dolt's never run so fast in his life. Aye, aye, El Supremo. Oh! Help! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Clumsy sod. Now, what have we got here? Ah! Carol ah, Quick! Pull those quills out! Mm. I might think about it. Think about it? You've never felt the pain of being turned into a pincushion, Karawong. I want them out now! Hmm. Very well, Arrow. But just remember, this is one you owe me. Understood? <laughs> All right. Yes, understood. <laughs> now get to it! Ouch! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. <sighs> Much better. Oh, there you go, Charlie. Check out those bits. It was around here that a mate of mine once discovered a large nugget. It's been sitting there for thousands of years, waiting for him to come along and pick it up. Hmm. No such luck this time, Grandad. Nothing here but solid rock. <laughs> yeah, the vast majority of them are like that, Charlie. That's why gold's worth so much. Very rare. Grandad, exactly how much gold have you discovered over the years? Mm, not that much, I'm afraid. I've only found small amounts. Never struck it rich. I guess we'll just have to keep on looking. Huh. Looks like we're not the only ones exploring. Getting a bit late. Come on, Charlie. We'll come back tomorrow, eh? Great. And we were wondering, Mr Echidna... Yes, wondering. Do you realise how much pain can be caused by those things on your back? Did he say anything? Uh, not that I heard. Perhaps we missed it. Oh, perhaps we did. But then we've missed everything he said. Uh, if he said anything at all. Indeed, if he'd said anything at all. Hey, where are we, eh? I have no idea, Mew. Mm, nor I, but I think it's too late to go back. Wherever that is. Mm. <laughs> 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 Hey, Wombat, are you at home? Wombat, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's all the fuss? Who wants something done now? Absolutely nobody. I just wanted to know how you were feeling today. After the echidna business, I mean. I was doing all right. Till you woke me up. Oh, sorry. But it was nice to do something for you for a change. It's usually you saving everybody else. Oh, all right, all right. You know I can't stand hearing that kind of stuff. Credit where it's due, Wombat. I think... <coughs> what was that? Don't know and don't care. I'm going to go and check it out. You would. And good riddance. you said that before, eh? Is anything the matter? Why, look! Down there! It looks like a... Uh... Is it a... It's an egg! It's an egg! 
Oh, well, I didn't lay it. I can't lay eggs. I don't remember laying it. It wasn't me. Uh, well, if you didn't and I can't, how did it get here? Oh, it must have been me. No! <sighs> Snake! Snake! Who is going to eat my egg? Panic! Panic! Help! Snake! Oh! What's this about an egg? He laid an egg. An egg? Are you sure it's an egg? Sure, we're sure. Oh, we know an emu egg when we see one. Oh, in that case, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Zara. Yep, and thanks for scaring off the snake. Oh, it was my pleasure. I'll go and tell Benny and Boom Boom. They'll want to hear about this. Well, you do that. Bye, Zara. Why did he congratulate us? Oh, because he's a very nice Brumby. Perhaps having an egg is something to celebrate. Perhaps it is. We must spread the news. Oh, what about the egg? Who's going to look after it? We can't both go. Oh, we can't. Perhaps the egg is not a good idea after all. It must be. Thara congratulated us. Yes, it must be. I'll stay. I'll go then. Right. You laid an egg, E? Congratulations. That's marvellous. Oh, yes. Congratulations, E. Oh, we're so happy for you, E. Just imagine that. An egg. Um, what exactly is an egg? An egg? You mean to say that you don't know what an egg is? Oh, well, I once heard Wombat say that Arrow is an egghead. <laughs> egghead? <laughs> Egghead! Arrow is an egghead! Ha 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 ha! E? Oh. Ooh. Back to the question, E. Question? Uh, yes, um, an egg is what babies hatch out of. Off to spread the news! Exciting, exceptional, exhilarating news! <laughs> I think that's the question all of us have been afraid to ask, Boon Boon. I wouldn't mind giving it a shake. I suspect that egg could be a fake. Maybe we should just leave it as the emus see it. But if we just knew someone who had actually seen an emu egg, someone who'd been down to the plains recently... Yes, but who? Hi, guys! <laughs> What's up? Arrow. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> So, Arrow, what do you think? What do I think? Well, now I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt... Mm. I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt that this is most definitely an emu egg. Hooray! Hooray! I knew it all along. What makes you so sure, Arrow? Saw lots of them down on the plains, lots of emus and lots of emu eggs. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's going on down there? Hmm. Cozy little bunch, I must say. That's a relief. Now we can rest. And now it's time to head back to my nest. <laughs> Bye, Mopo. Well, I'm glad to be of service. I'm off too. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Ah. Here comes that silly old mopoke. Hey, mopoke. What was going on back there? Why the gathering of the clan? I really don't know why you should care. But in any case, it's none of your affair. Oh, come on now. You can tell me. If it's a secret, I can keep it. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that's a lie. Everyone knows you're the Brolgers spy. Now, oh, all right then. If that's the way you want it. <laughs> That'll teach you, you old mud scrubber. Phew. Soft landing. My luck was in. I bounced off something soft. Your head, Arrow. <laughs> what do you mean? You're an egghead, Arrow. <laughs> you're a... Why, you're the sweetest Arrow. My old friend. <laughs> now tell me, what was the gathering about? You know I like to know what's cooking in the high country. That gathering had nothing to do with you, Karawong. It's the emu's personal business. Now, just a minute. You owe me. I pulled those echidna quills from your posterior, remember? I just saved your life! Remember? We're even. If you think echidna quills hurt, you ain't felt nothing yet. <laughs> All right, Arrow, what's it to be? OK, OK. I'll talk. So what was the gathering about? One of the emus laid an egg. I saw it with my own two eyes! Emus laid an egg? <laughs> this I've got to see. What do you think it'll be, Mew? A boy or a girl? Ooh! Haven't even thought about it. Exciting, isn't it? Hmm. The mighty Brolga's not too happy with me at the moment. Bet it would cheer him up if I brought him a souvenir. <laughs> hey! Stop! Thief! Uh, oh, oh! Must be twins. Oh, come back with my egg, you thieving! No good for nothing! Uh, oh! <gasps> Ooh. Hi, guys. What you looking at? Oh. Mew, Mew, what's going on? Oh, that no-good Karawong just broke our egg. Oh, no. Yes, but just look at what was inside it, a solid gold yolk. Ooh, hey, that's pretty good. Oh, a solid gold yolk. Ooh. Hey, 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 I laid a golden egg. Yes, eh? so you did. That's much better than an ordinary old egg. Everybody should know about this. The dingoes and the wombats. Yep, and everybody else. Let's go! Uh, but... Uh... Listen, everybody. I laid a golden egg. Don't worry, Benny. Let them go. But this never was an egg, Thara. It's a geological freak. It's a gold nugget. OK, but there's no need for the emus to know. Let them believe what they want to believe. Yes, what they don't know won't hurt them. Fair enough. But what do we do with this? Animals have no use for gold. Not even the emus. No, we haven't, but I think I know someone who has. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Time to wake up. There's nothing like a good night's sleep to work up a healthy appetite. <sighs> hey? What's that? Stone the crows. Hey, Charlie. Have a look at this. Solid gold. Where on earth could it have come from? Silver Brumby. A gift, Grandad, from the creatures of the high country to you. A flaming miracle. <laughs> After all these years, I've got a nest egg for me old age. <laughs> Thank you.
So most were happy. The emus thought E could lay golden eggs, and the prospector had a little something to see him through to a ripe old age. Some others had not fared so well, but the following winter would bring Thara into the strangest twist yet. <laughs>